Hi, my name's John Barry. I'm the Video Solutions Consultant at Adobe Australia New Zealand. And I'm going to show you why it's important to stabilise your video footage with your camera um, using a couple of things here. The first thing that's very obvious is using a tripod. Why it's important to use a tripod? Well, basically, once you've got this attached, it's very, very solid. And it's not going to have this distracting movement. The other thing is, um, which I'll... I'll just do right now is if you have to shoot something without a tripod, lock in your elbows and tuck them into your body as hard as you can and then that will be the most stable that you can get without a tripod. But whenever possible, always get your hands on a tripod. So using a tripod is um, obviously what we need to cover here. At the bottom of this camera and all cameras that are used for video production, there's a, a little screw hole in the bottom and that's for the base plate that comes off the actual tripod. You take this little base plate out and you can see the little screw. There's also another little, I don't know what you would call that, probably a little bit. <laughs> I'm really not sure what the technical term is, but that helps to align um, where it goes. So if it's backwards, it's kind of going to keep slipping around. So there's two little pieces. There's this other little bit, which I don't know the name of, uh, and then the screw. You can see here there's actually two little bits there as well, and we need those to sit in on each other. You know you've got it right when you actually can't rotate all the way around. So once it's sitting in the right place, we can screw this base plate in. And depending on which tripod you get, you may need to use something like a coin to get in, there's a little groove there. You use just a standard coin, five cent, 10 cent piece, usually probably the best coins to use, and that can help you to tighten it. If you don't have coins, but you have keys, the edge of your key is the same width as well, and that's gonna work too. So once this base plate's on, and I can test this with my hand and try and move this as much as I want, it's locked in, it's solid. That's when you wanna sit it into the shoe. It clicks, again, try and move it and take it out. It's solid we've now got ourselves a very stable shot to work with. And then we just loosen the uh, tilt and pan controls here so we can get our shots to move the way we want them to, like so. And that's how you basically get a stable shot.